acne is your body's way of showing you there is an imbalance and it won't go away until you correct the imbalance. So my focus is on natural health and nutrition and I'm gonna give you great tips to help you combat acne once and for all. I've had many, many clients over the years and met so many people who have suffered from acne. And so I decided to do this video today because I had an Ask Joyous hashtag on Twitter question uh, from Sarah and she said, Joy, what foods should I eat to help out with adult acne? So first of all, most medical doctors prescribe long-term use of antibiotics and Accutane, which I definitely do not recommend because these can have long-term health effects. Also, they can affect your digestive system, your liver health, both of which are super important for beautiful skin and preventing things like acne. So today I'm going to share with you my top seven recommendations all natural health focused to help you combat acne because what you eat and what you drink has a direct effect on your skin and beyond that directly affects your energy levels your mental health and well-being so of course all of these recommendations are going to help more than just combating acne my first recommendation is to eliminate dairy research shows us that dairy both causes acne and can make it worse if you already have acne because dairy by its very nature can increase levels of testosterone, it can increase hormones like insulin by up to 300%. It makes sense that dairy has hormones because it's meant to grow a calf. Whether it's organic, raw, pasteurized, no matter what it is, unfortunately if you have acne then you have to cut out the milk. Skim milk seems to make matters even worse in research. So I suggest taking a two week break from all forms of dairy and then evaluating your skin after two weeks. The other thing is to consider, once you've done that, to consider also eliminating other common food triggers. Uh, food sensitivity provoking foods like wheat and soy and corn, peanuts, these are all foods that if you're sensitive to them can increase inflammation which can throw off your hormones and can definitely cause things like acne. But first start with dairy. My second recommendation is to eliminate all forms of refined sugars. Sugar is dreadful when it comes to your skin because it causes hormonal fluctuations. What happens when you're eating foods that are high in the glycemic index spikes your blood sugar, spikes insulin levels, and insulin increases the production of sebum, oil production in your skin, which can block your pores and cause acne. So avoid things like pop and juice, candy is an obvious one um, even things that you might not think about like energy drinks and certain bars uh, energy bars can have a lot have very high added sugars while we're on the topic of sugar my next recommendation is to avoid all forms of blood sugar spiking foods the idea is to keep your blood sugar as stable as possible so you don't have those wild insulin spikes so avoid things like pastries baked goods unless made by you with the best ingredients white pasta white rice even things like boxed cereals and granola bars can be really really high in sugar uh, and can spike your blood sugar so the key is balanced blood sugar you'll also find not only does it help your skin but it is great for your energy and great for a balanced mood as well so my next point is to eat anti-inflammatory fats so these foods that have good fats help to balance your hormones, thereby reducing inflammation and helping prevent things like acne. So eat foods that are rich in omega-3s. For example, eat fish, uh, cold water fish, fish. If you don't eat animal foods, there's lots of other options like chia, uh, walnuts, great source of plant-based omega-3s. Uh, even things like spirulina and also foods that are rich in gamma linolenic acid otherwise known as GLA are also super anti-inflammatory so things like hemp oil hemp hearts spirulina again is a good source um, also supplements like barrage oil uh, are fantastic source of GLA which help to balance hormones and lower inflammation my next point is to eat your probiotics 
Great digestion is truly the foundation of great skin. You simply cannot have great skin if you don't have healthy digestion. So making sure you eat foods that help to feed the good bacteria and also help to replenish the good bacteria are so essential to reduce inflammation and also to help with the elimination of waste products. So add foods to your diet like kimchi, kombucha, um, tempeh, uh, sauerkraut, these are all delicious foods to add that really, really help with a healthy gut. You also may want to consider taking a probiotic supplement, which provides a therapeutic dose of good bacteria. Just make sure you talk to your, your healthcare practitioner to find out the best brand for you and also what is the best dosage recommendation for you. My next point is to eat whole foods. I know it's such an obvious one, but it can't, I can't possibly do this video and not talk to you about the importance of eating whole, real food. Make sure you fill your diet, make sure you fill your plate with a wide variety of brightly colored foods. Basically, fill your fridge with a rainbow. When you open up your fridge to make your lunch, you see you should see many different colors from plant foods. This indicates many, like literally hundreds of plant pigments that are medicinal and helpful to your body. And also, Things like vegetables, uh, leafy greens, brightly colored are so detoxifying. They're so good for your digestive system. And these types of foods are super anti-inflammatory as well, which really helps to balance your hormones. Especially cruciferous vegetables are fantastic as well at helping to balance your hormones, which can also help other things like PMS. And my final recommendation is to stay calm. Because guess what? Stress is totally anti-beautifying. Now I know that can be tough because acne in and of itself is stressful, but this is when you have the power of choice. You have the power to do things, make a choice to do things every day that help to lower stress because stress causes hormonal fluctuations and imbalance, it spikes insulin, and we know that those things promote things like acne. So on my Pinterest page and on joyoushealth.com, I have lots of great affirmations like this one here. I am the architect of my own health. I build its foundation with every choice I make. So at the end of the day, you have a powerful tool available to you, the power of choice, the power to think good thoughts, to eat good foods, to practice good self-care, because you know what? You totally deserve it. So if you need some more assistance, I have an awesome online program called the Joyous 10 Day Detox. I've had thousands of people do it over the years and experience amazing benefits like clear, glowing skin. So I hope you love this video. I hope it's helped you and make sure you subscribe below and also check out some of the links that I've posted for you below because I have more articles on my blog about acne preventative tips. So have a joyous day everyone. Bye.